Hello everyone. I welcome you all to ATM Creations. This is a 10 inch MDF base in which I already found the center, drew circles, created grids. The angles are marked at every 20 degree. So here 0 and 180 falls here. This is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140 and 160. And the same way I have marked the angles in this part of the circle too. Let's get started with dotting now. So using white acrylic color, I'm going to keep some tiny dots to cover the border of the circle. It's going to take a lot of time, but you need to be really patient. One circle dotting is over. Now I'm going to dot this circle. Now the next circle. the fourth circle here there are totally seven circles now I'm dotting the fifth one This is the sixth circle that I'm going to dot now. Now there is just one circle remaining. I will dot the seventh circle now. Fill these petals with dark green. Now I'll spread the paint to fill the petal. Now I'll keep one granary dot in the center. Now I'll keep straight swipes in granary. I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll keep straight swipes in light green. I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll keep two side swipes in dark green. As usual I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll keep tiny side swipes in white. I'll keep straight swipes in dark green. I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll keep two side swipes in white.
Now I'll make these dots into swipes. Now I'll keep two side swipes in light green. Now I'll keep some light green dots. Now I'll keep tiny dots in white. Now I'll keep some white dots. Now I'll keep two side swipes in greenery. Now I'll keep two more side swipes in light green. Now I'll walk the dots in white. Now I'll keep some dark green dots. Now I'll keep some white dots. Now I'll walk the dots in white. Now I'll keep some light green dots. Now some greenery dots. Now I'll walk the dots in greenery. Now I'll walk the dots in light green.
Now I'll keep straight swipes and white. I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. I'm sure the small dot mandala came out really well. Thank you for watching this video. Hello everyone. I welcome you all to A-Team Creations. This is a 10-inch MDF base. And like in any other video, in this video I thought I'll uh, record everything from the beginning. I only have base painted it. I still have to find the circle and all other. Let me start with um, recording how I prepare my paints before even I start with MDF board. So for this dot model, I am planning to use three different colors. All three are flash colors. This is some blue. I don't know what blue it is. And this is lemon yellow. This is magenta. So I have taken some blue here. Flash paints are generally little thick. So I always add a little water to bring it to my desired consistency. I would like to have creamy consistency. And adding water to these acrylic paints, don't worry, this won't create any crack when you dot. Still very thick, I'm going to add a little more water. I think now the blue paint has come to the desired consistency. This is the consistency of the paint that I normally use, a creamy one. Neither too thick nor too thin, this is how I use. It's always so satisfying to open a new paint jar. As you see the paint is thick, I am definitely going to add a little water. Here I am adding water. This is the bottom portion of a paintbrush. This water is going to take some time to get mixed well. So you need to be slow and consistent for at least um, one, one and a half minutes. Stir slowly but continuously. When you create the swirl effect while mixing water with the paint, even if there are any bubbles inside it will go off see now the paint has come to the desired consistency of a cream now i'm going to open this lemon yellow color i added two three drops of water i'm just giving it a little mix so that the consistency is according to how i really want now the creamy consistency is there i'll start preparing the mdf now the diameter is 25.4 centimeters, so I'm going to take 12.7. So I have measured this compass for the radius now. This is how I find the center. I, I think I showed in the previous video too. I keep the pencil edge towards the edge of the MDF board and then rotate the compass to check if it is right and make little adjustments. Now I'll mark the center. Now I'll draw circles as desired. I'm not measuring the circles. I'm only going to draw random circles. I always find challenging to rotate the compass for a very smaller circle. So I tend to rotate the painting surface. Now I'll draw a line that will divide all the circles into two. Now we'll mark the angles. So I'll mark the angles at 45, 90, 135 here. And here it is 225, 270 and 315. So once angles are marked, I'm now going to connect the dots. According to flash, this is marine blue. So I'll start dotting in the center with marine blue. Now I'll keep straight swipes in lemon yellow. I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. In between 
any two yellow swipes, I'm going to work the dots in magenta. I'll keep some blue dots. Now I'll keep two side swipes in lemon yellow. I want to form a V shape here, so I'm just going to draw a line here, slanting line. Now I'll keep two more side swipes in magenta. Now I'll keep two side swipes in blue. Keep some straight swipes in yellow. I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll make these dots into swipes. Now I'll keep two side swipes in magenta. Now I'll keep some blue dots. Now I'll keep two side swipes in yellow. Now I'll keep some magenta dots. Now I'll work the dots in magenta. I'll keep some blue dots now. I'll work the dots in blue now. I'll keep some yellow dots now. Now I'll keep straight swipes in blue. I'll keep a plumpy dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll keep two side swipes in magenta. I'll keep a dot then make it to a swipe. Now I'll keep two more side swipes in yellow. I'm sure this vibrant dot mandala came out really well. Thank you for watching this video. Hello everyone. I welcome you all to ATM Creations. This is a 10 inch MDF base. I found center, drew some circles, created grids. The angles are marked at 30, 60, 90, 120 and 150. The same way I have marked in this part of the circle too. And in this uh, video, I'm going to give you a lot of tips which I personally use for dotting and creating swipes. So stay tuned till the end. I'll start with dotting in the center using a lemon yellow. 
Now the circle is actually bigger than the dot. So you can either opt to leave the remaining space as it is or you can keep some more dot and then fill it up with the dotting tool. I have just made my dot bigger. There is still a space but I am opting to leave it as it is. When you keep a plumpy dot, there is a mountain kind of a thing that's created. I really love that uh, when the paint gets dried. It's very rare that I fill the circle with the paint using the dotting tool. So I leave the mountain as it is. For the next circle, I am going to use this tool. You can either opt to dot on the line or you can dot in the grid. Now I am going to dot within the grid. I am using golden yellow. If you are keeping tiny dots immediately after keeping these bigger dots, you can use an appropriate sized tool and you can touch upon the paint here and then dot. So this creates tiny dots. So you don't have to use the paint pots again. This is cream yellow. Now I'm going to dot on the line. As a beginner, if you dot on the line, it's going to be easy for you to maintain the symmetry. There are many things that you can do to fill the gap in between any two dots here. I'm opting to keep two side swipes. Now in this circle what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with dotting on the line but without worrying about anything else I'm just going to keep on dotting in the entire circle. Let's see how it goes. So in this scenario it's always better that you don't pick up a lot of paint but you dip only the tip of the tool and gently keep dotting. There shouldn't be gap between any two dots but the dot should not be over each other. When you do this, sometimes it will end up so perfectly spaced. Sometimes one or two dots may get over each other, but that's fine. It is those small, small imperfections that makes the handmade artwork more perfect. Now I'll keep tiny dots in orange. When you keep tiny dots from the main dot and when the tip of the tool touches the main dot, it shouldn't touch the surface there. It should only touch the paint. So you need to be really slow when you touch the main dot. Now I'm going to dot with scarlet. Now I'll keep tiny dots in scarlet. I'm going to keep some straight swipes in lemon yellow. I'll keep plumpy dots and then make it to a swipe. I generally keep dots all over the circle then start making it to a swipe. But if you're a beginner, you can Keep plumpy dots in 25% of the space, like for example, four dots and then use the tool to make it to a swipe. The amount of paint needed to create a plumpy dot depends on the length of swipe you want to create. So here it is quite lengthy, so I'm keeping a lot of paint. Otherwise one single dot will be enough to make it to a swipe. I 
I'll keep some golden yellow dots now. If you want to keep these dots at an equal distance against each of these swipe here, one thing that you can do is um, to draw circles, some three, four circles according to the number of dots that you want so that you can maintain the distance exactly. Or you can take a small ruler and mark one centimeter, two centimeter, something like that so that you can still maintain the same distance. Now I'll walk the dots in golden yellow. Now I'll keep cream yellow dots. Now I'll work the dots in cream yellow. When you have to work the dots in a lengthy space, this is what I personally do. I will keep first few dots individually and then halfway through I will start working the dots. So in this scenario I am keeping three dots individually and from the fourth dot onward I am working the dots. Again how many dots you keep individually and when do you start working the dots. It all depends on how big or small you want the dots. And the second thing is the amount of space you have to walk the dots. Now I'll keep some scarlet dots. Now I'll keep orange dots. I kept scarlet dots before I keep orange dots here because I wanted to adjust the space perfectly. So I kept the scarlet first and now I'm keeping orange next. Now I'll work the dots in orange. Now I'll keep some cream yellow dots. Now I'll work the dots in scarlet. Now I'll keep some orange dots. I'm sure this dot mandala came out really well. Thank you for watching this video. I'll start with dotting in the center in gold. Now when you want to dot with these kind of acrylic rods, you just have to keep the tool upright so that the paint flows perfectly. Now I'll keep some tiny golden dots around. Now 
Now I'll keep some dots and tail blue. Now I'll keep two side swipes in tail blue. Now I'll dot with the shade of turquoise blue that I created. Now I'll keep some tiny dots. Now another shade of turquoise blue that I created. Now I'll keep some tiny dots. Now I'll dot with turquoise blue. Now I'll keep some tiny dots. Now I'll keep some golden dots. Now I'm going to keep some golden dots. Now I'll keep two side swipes with the turquoise blue shade that I created. Now I'll keep two more side swipes in tail blue. So when you keep the second side swipe, I'll make sure I'll keep a little more paint than I did for the first one so that I can drag the swipe till the end. Now I'll keep some golden dots. Keep some golden dots. I'll keep some dots in teal blue now. I'll walk the dots in teal blue. Now I'm going to keep two side swipes in the turquoise blue shade that I created. I'll keep some straight swipes in gold. I'll keep plumpy dot then make it to a swipe. I'm 
sure this dot mandala came out really well thank you for watching this video